All right, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, it's an interesting little concept. It's the uh, sudo uh, sudo remove dash rf forward slash um, asterisk command, and it's um, it's kind of a funny thing to do in Linux. This is impossible in Windows, obviously, but it's the equivalent of the joke delete system thirty two. But um, I wanted to see actually what happens in a real system. So this is a VM, uh, brand new native. Uh, Ubuntu 19.04 uh, installation. There's nothing on this. Literally just came out of the oven of the installation. Uh, so let's open up the terminal, and I'll show you kind of what's what's going on here. So if I uh, let's move over to the desktop, I'm not even typing here. Let's see. If I make a directory test. Let's move into that directory. Make another directory. Test two. So if I open that folder, there's a test two folder in there. Pull out of there. Okay, so I'm on the desktop, and you can see um, there's a test folder there. That this folder there. So if I try to remove this uh, test folder, it's going to say error. Can't remove test as a directory. So let's break down this. So sudo is just a super user do. That means I'm asking for admin permissions to delete that. It's the same thing as, let's see if I like, you know, right click. It's a bad example here. PowerShell, run as admin. Like, you know, run as, it's an admin shell now. Um, same thing, sudo is the Linux slash max, the Unix command for uh, being admin permission. RM stands for remove and test. If I do this, see touch test to file, that's gonna make a file. Touch is just a file command. It's a non-extension file, there's nothing on it. If I run sudo remove test to file, it's gonna remove that, but it can't remove test because it's a directory. So if I run sudo remove r f test, let me uh, read through this. So sudo is super user do. So it's asking for admin permission. Remove command. And then this dash RF. These are flags. And this flag R stands for recursive. And this flag is force. So it's going to forcibly remove recursively this folder. And recursive just means it's going to bounce through the file directory. So you're going to, if it's a directory, like I'm getting this can't remove it. The RF command is going to allow me to remove a directory recursively. The reason why this exists the way it does, you have to put that in there, is because a directory could have files inside of it. If we remove that directory, it's gonna remove all the files inside of it. And it wants to make sure that you know, hey, you have to put these flags here if you wanna do that. So if I do that, it's gone. So if you, let me do a little thing here. So if I CD, which kinda lets me move around. If I use CD dash, that's gonna put me at the root of the computer. So that's like right in the root file. So if I hit LS to show everything, there's literally all the root of the computer. That's everything. That's the, in Windows, that's the Windows file right here. Like, this is it. This is root. If I pop it open, look at like C uh, backslash, that's root. This is root here. In, in uh, Linux, it's a forward slash, but that's pretty much the same thing. So you can actually move around here. You can actually get back to the desktop pretty easily. And I can show you how to manually do that. So if you hit CD home, that's gonna show all the users. So I went from the home folder. Now you can see I'm in here, I'm in home. And if I CD into myself, now it's gonna show all my user files. So that's the same equivalence in Windows as users, uh, my user, and there's all my crap in there. So if I go back to here, now if I run sudo rm rf forward slash asterisk, this is going to run the super user do remove recursive and force uh, flag on the root directory folder, and asterisk means everything after it, so everything in there. And if I run this command, theoretically, it should literally delete everything. 
Now there's gonna be files that are open that the system can't delete, and that's just is what it is, but this will literally destroy the system. So if I run this command, keep in mind, remember, RF deletes directories and everything in it, and I'm running it on the root with an asterisk command, which is gonna do everything. So if I run this, oh boy. Yeah, it just killed the system. Lol. It actually killed the UI. It, it deleted all the UI files. I don't even know if it's going to do anything more. If the command will stop. Let's see. I can't even like switch to text terminals right now. Lol. Okay, so let's kill it. It literally won't even let me kill it. Just kill it. Okay. Okay, let's power it back on. Oh my gosh. The grub's gone. The grub is the boot is the Linux bootloader. So literally it's it's gone. There's literally nothing there. It just shows the drives. And I literally can't even get into it. It literally just it literally just killed the entire system and there's no way back in. Deleted everything. Only a full system reinstall would fix that. Got him.